Guys, look at this pretty girl here. God, Lisa's pretty. Hey, 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 you know? That's okay. That's okay. Now, these two dogs are sisters. This dog, meaning Lola, is way more complete. Cha-Cha's got the muscle. Lola's way more complete. I told the kennel partners that she was the answer, and I knew it. Stay tuned, people. Take care of your dogs. We're going to talk here in a second. So look here guys, this is how they do it. Look at that. She's got the tight feet. She's got a solid rear. <laughs> She's got the right rear. She's the most complete dog. When we get complete, <laughs> we can add so much to it. Cha-cha, cha-cha. Look at you trying to go in. Cha-cha, come here. Cha-cha. Cha-cha's a doo-doo head. So, cha-cha, slightly easy westy she took on some of her daddy's traits. She poops in the cage all the time. She's got a slight high rear, <laughs> which means her stifles are stiff, which also means that she can easily tear her knee. This is what some people don't know, so I'm telling you this first. When Cha Cha was a puppy, I went outside to get her one time and she was limping. And I'm like, yo, what happened? She literally hasn't done anything. She was maybe six weeks old and she couldn't put pressure on her right leg and couldn't lift herself up. I mean, there were times where she'd want to get up. I was like, yo, we're gonna have to let this booger heal. She had a light arch in her back like her daddy. And so what happens is the dogs walk on their tiptoes. Tiptoes in a dog's case bad on the back because now the bones are sitting on each other like this. If you know anything about sports, what happens when you hyperextend your knee? In track, I seen a dude snap his meniscus, tear his meniscus coming out the blocks. Because when he went, the block slipped, knee locked, and meniscus tore. So when we're breeding dogs, like we're breeding them to perform, we say, how do we make sure anatomically, structurally, the dogs are put together? Well, they look like they related, but they're two different dogs. Both good, but one's better. And she is the answer to all my prayers. <laughs> because if we're being honest, we could take her to anything, add more width. Wider a dog gets, the more agile it becomes, the slower it moves. We could add more height. Taller it gets, normally that chest is gonna come in just a tad bit narrow, or it'll be pushed out. If it's pushed out the wrong way, the dog will slightly turn easy westy challenges is for fact bam bam left foot look like a left hook <laughs> and that's not a good thing because it's going the opposite direction cha-cha <sighs> narrow rear so we're breaking the dogs down we're saying hey what's our best option here cha-cha you see that posturing right there they start posturing up that means some funk gonna have to but so this is what you do they've been trying to get lola we're about to build lola up so y'all gonna watch the progress lola don't have a driver like ours but she's got a driver in there. And I know how to bring that drive out. So, whenever you're building a dog up, I've said this before, I don't take Chacha out there with Ego right away. Ego's the most determined dog I have. None of them can beat Ego, not even Tron. So look, you see where, you see where Lola is? You see where Chacha is? She's anticipating. <laughs> there we go. I'm glad she didn't get it. Come on. One of the keys is to put her with like kids, with kids their own age, and let them compete. Good girl. Oh. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl, Cha Cha. Good girl, Cha Cha. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I'll tell you one of my tricks, people. I'll bring Lola out here. I'll put a cage. I'll bring Cha Cha out to create. Somebody asked me, his dogs get jealous. They get jealous when other dogs are having a good time. So you put a cage out, play with Cha Cha. She's curious right now. And curious about other dogs versus this work. 
And Chasha, look, she's still holding on to it. All the dogs that we develop, we do it one at a time. So every dog has gotten a lot of individual attention from me and Jamarcus, to be clear. And even when we get the new dog, Jamarcus, I already tell you, he's like, I'm gonna be out here fucking with it too. Straight up, like, everybody has a routine. I left the other day, he said he did 30 minute increments of every dog doing flirp hole, bite pillow, etc. He just even asked me a second ago, hey, you wanna play keep away with, with uh, ego? And what that means is we both have two different pillows. And we just keep working this out to him coming back and forth. We have a tight system. And remember, we have no dogs over two. Lola's dog driven, because she be hanging around dogs. And all my dogs are me driven. So we gonna repurpose her <laughs> and get her focused. Because even when her trying to harass Cha-Cha, Cha-Cha jump off here and correct her, but cha is so focused on this rope. And that's just because I don't allow the dogs early on to play with nobody but me. They don't even get to be around each other normally. Like, Batman and Cha-Cha, we setting up a system here. You better be careful, Lola, she's still a Negro. <laughs> she's still a Negro now. Cha-Cha's the most, uh, she's a dog I worry about. And when I say worry, I'm like, yo, look, she, she, she's a little feisty, feisty joker, but that right there, you've seen this at 10 months old. Same focus in Tron, same focus in Ego, same focus in Cha-Cha now. And we're gonna tighten her focus and watch. I love, I love, I love actually fixing that in the dog and, and bringing it out. Jamarcus to tell you, I said, hey, give me Bam, give me, give me trying for a week. I, I, I know what to do. And I know what's in her. Long as she'll chase it, I can do the rest. But you see this here? <laughs> Unfazed by anything. And when I tell you we haven't even tried, truth is, I don't even know Chacha know her name good. That's the truth. I was like, Chacha, come here. She might come, she might not. The truth is, I tell you, my dogs, they not that trained. I know how to train a dog. I'm just in no rush. But as long as she does this, uh, I'll have her run up the side of a house and do everything else, and she's already proven it. We were surprised, even Stan. We did a three tire video, Stan's like, hold on, did she just jump up on them three? Well, add another one. Good girl, Chacha. Untrained, people. Untrained, and she, we're gonna build some stuff, man. So, at any who, Lola's a dog that we bred. Super excited about her progress. Definitely a huge component to our program and building out the dream dog that I have in my mind. <laughs> she's under there cooling off right now. I'm glad she's with some good people. Now, we got work to do. And when you see her, remember this video. We didn't do a good job with Tron. We didn't do a good job. We, missed, we got like one video where Tron was chilling and I should have shot more, but I took him after that because I was tight. <laughs> I was like, yo, he ain't doing nothing. We got, we got, we got, we, no, no, I'm gonna keep, I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> Y'all leave here, they had me tight. Get $15,000 on that dog, he ain't wanna do nothing. What kind of stuff is this? <laughs> so, so, so I took him and nobody saw what happened next until it was like, yo, what's up, what happened to Tron? I'm like, I had to bring that dog out. <laughs> she got the dog, Lola gonna have a dog, she is a dog. We gonna teach her to be a dog. Next thing you know, she'll be super focused. So stay tuned, take care of your dogs, people. Three things I would do, get a flirt pole, teach us flirt, uh, uh, pray, pray drive, per se. It's a way to teach it. Second thing to do, get them a ball. That way you can get that conditioning up. That's huge, 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 huge. Third thing, I'd say take them to as many places as possible so that you build their confidence. You believe it or not, if somebody grabs a stick or something and a dog flinches, that's a confidence thing. The more things they experience, just like we was in school, what, elementary school, we learned about nouns, right? People, places, and things. The more people they see, the more confident they become. The more things they see, the more confident they become. The more things they do, the more confident they become. Just like us humans, more stuff we do, the more people we have to talk to, we don't even want to talk to, we become more confident in situations. Tron and all of them, Tron will walk through a whole crowd of people like this here. <laughs> Ego, he'll be nosy as hell. And Zara just don't like people. So crowds are not good for her. But I got her during COVID, that's the truth. And I remember walking to the field back in the day. It wasn't nobody out. The streets was like a it was like a graveyard. So I didn't get to do my thing with Zara, unfortunately. Cha Cha, super skeptical. I told you guys I, I failed her, and Bam Bam, uh, because we had a litter, literally within a few months, right after. But she's still doing some stuff that we we we'd like to see her do. People, places, and things. Those things can change you and your dog's relationship. Stay tuned. Take care of your dog. Good girl, Cha Cha.